Hey, what's up? Out here at Little Creek Reservoir Day. And, um, kind of chilly. It's already drizzled out here once on the way up here. Um, it's definitely chilly. Um, so we're just going to put the boat in the water and just kind of see how it does today. I don't know if uh, fishing is going to be any good or not. They're calling for winds. So far it's pretty decent out here. So I got here fairly early, not super early, but um, we're just going to see how the boat does basically. That's all I really want to see and just, you know, test things out. Maybe do a little fishing, wet a line, but we'll just see kind of how it goes. But um, one thing I noticed on the way up here, check this out, that seat then slid all the way to the right, pretty wild, I guess just bouncing around up here, it doesn't look like I lost anything else on the way up, which is cool, so we're just going to get this thing all together and uh, put it in the water. <laughs> Apparently, well, I forgot to put screws in these, and I have no glue, so I'm afraid these are going to come apart as we're using them, so we're not going to try these out today. Sorry, folks. Oh, well, that's a bummer. That's a big bummer. So I made a decision to go ahead and put these in the water. I figure if that one comes off, it's going to float anyway. So at least I can maybe try them out. I'm going to see. That's what this whole day is about anyway. So I found some screws, but I have no way to drill a hole. So we're just going to wing it and see how it does. So off we go. So as you can see, this thing's kind of tippy.
looks like a lot of drag. Yeah, we're dragging big time. So it turns out that the uh, birds of prey, big fail in my opinion, don't think I will be using them. Um, moving the seat, big fail also. Um, it's, uh, it's just too far back. I'm going to have to put it back where it was. Um, uh, I don't know, big waste of money. I think I just need to leave the boat alone and just quit doing stuff to it. Um, you know, you get to a point to where um, you think you can make it better, and I guess I can't. So um, I was trying to make it more comfortable, but it's actually more of a pain. Um, as you can see, I got this thing stuck in my back. Um, it was comfortable before I... I I lowered it, you know, I lowered the seat, but that's, that's just not going to work. It's too tippy with the other one in it. So, um, yeah, I'm just going to go back to the old, to the old setup. No birds of prey. I guess it was worth a try, but just kind of big disappointment there. Um. So yeah, we're just kind of tooling around. I kind of got all flustered and frustrated and everything. and So I'm just kind of riding around. Then kind of lost all interest in fishing, to be honest with you. So um, things just kind of ain't going real good. I probably won't even post this, but um, yeah, just kind of a big failed day all the way around. Um, this wiring system that I've that I've got where I can you know cut the motor on and off up front that's that's not even working out so um, I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to extend these wires um, so that I can hook this motor up in the back and then I can just run both motors from the back and then when my buddy comes just run it from the front like I had it before. So basically everything I've done is is pretty much sucked. So yeah, that's kind of kind of how it is. So I think I'm just gonna put everything put everything like it was and just kind of go from there. I was hoping to get more space, but it's just not working out. I just need a bigger boat is what I need, but that's not in my cards. So we're just gonna ride around. Maybe I'll wet a line. I don't know. We'll see kind of not really feeling it so alrighty cool hey so um not a good day on the water um birds of prey giant fail definitely won't be using those anymore um the uh the slide seat it works fine it's it, it slide fine but um, the seat is um, too far back um, I can see why they had the seat where it was to begin with um, I'm probably just gonna leave it as it is and kind of deal with it right now um, the other thing is um, all of that wiring that I did with the switch so that I could operate the front motor in lock mode that's not working because the 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 motor with my fat ass and the battery in the back the boat is planed out to where even when it's in this lowest position it's not um, going all the way in the water so that's pretty useless so I'm gonna rewire the the boat 
so that I can just um, take that motor and put it at the front or the rear um, and I'm going to take the uh, just redo all the wiring as far as the motors go um, the back motor it, it, it'll stay the same the front motor um, I'm going to do away with the kill switch and all that and, and basically um, just run the, the wires like I had it before all the way to the back so that I can plug it in and then that way I can just you know if I'm by myself I'll just you know put two motors at the back I just thought it would be a whole lot nicer to to have it mounted permanently but uh, we're not going to do that so it is what it is um the other thing is um Got a lady walking up on me here. I don't know why. Oh, she's checking out my boat. Huh. She's checking out my boat, I guess. She likes it. But anyway, um, the other problem is I think I need a new battery. Because, um, they, uh, on the way back of course the winds got up really bad I didn't record any of that because I got flustered and it was just a real pain in the ass and I barely barely made it back um, the rear battery went down to 7 volts and I, if I didn't have a wind pushing me I probably wouldn't have made it back in so um, I might have to get another battery I'm not sure um, I know that one of those batteries is a starting battery because um, AutoZone sold me the wrong kind. Um, it's supposed to be a deep cycle and it's not. So I'm going to see which one. I can't remember which one I've got in the back. I might swap them out because I don't use the front one all that often. But if I'm going to, you know, zip along and run it out the back, then they're three years old, so I don't know. I'm gonna run some tests on them and see uh, see how they do, but no fish as usual. Little Creek, I've, I've never, I've only caught one fish at Little Creek, and that was a pike or whatever the hell you want to call it. Thing with damn teeth on it. That's the only fish I've ever caught there in the three years that I've been going there. So I'm kind of giving up on that place. Um, I really like the layout, but there's just no fish there. Either that or I've just got a curse on my boat. The first time that we took the boat out, and I didn't know that this was a rule, but um, I carried a banana on board. You're not supposed to carry bananas on your boat. I guess that's true, because I've had nothing but shitty luck with this boat. It's a nice boat, but man, it's just... I don't know, maybe I'm just doing too much to it, so anyway... That's how the day went. So there's not a lot of footage. I don't even know if I'm even going to put this out there or not. It just depends on how it comes up when I get home. And I'm going to see what, how it looks. But yeah. Thanks for watching. Y'all have a good one. Appreciate it.